Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working on Module 5, Lesson Number 39, and tonight we're working on multiplication word problems involving fractions. And so we're going to take a look at a couple of the problems from tonight's homework, and hopefully that'll help you out with the, uh, the homework that you've got to work on tonight and give you some insights into how you can maybe attack some of those problems. Let's take a look at the first one. Problem number two, remember we are going to use, as always, our read, draw, and write strategy. So I'm going to just put that over here to the side. Read, draw, and write. Let's start the reading first. We read and say it says that Trevor's stack of books is seven and seven eighths inches tall. Rick's stack is three times as tall. What is the difference in the heights of the stacks of books? Well, all right, let's start with our drawing part. Let's see. The first part is the easiest part, I think. Trevor's stack of books is seven and seven eighths inches tall. So I think I want to make a little tape diagram for Trevor. And I want to say Trevor's stack of books is seven and seven eighths inches tall. Awesome. Rick's stack is three times as tall. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see. Rick, I'm going to represent with an R here. We've got the original stack, right, which is seven and seven eighths, but it's three times as tall. So he's got two more of these, seven and seven eighths, and another one, seven and seven eighths. Excellent. Okay, so let's see if that's right. Trevor's stack of books is seven and seven eighths inches tall. Okay, that's that. Rick's stack is three times as tall. One, two, three. Okay, good. And now let's see, let's get to the question. What is the difference in the heights of the stacks of their books? Oh, I see. They don't want the total heights. They want the difference. Rick's is this tall, Trevor's is this tall, and they want the difference. So they want this amount. How much more? And that's going to help that's going to help me decide on what my mass sentence is because now I know that I need to add up these two pieces, right? That and in this case we're going to use our multiplication and rather than using repeated addition, we're going to say we have two chunks and each of those chunks is 7 and 7 eighths inches tall, right? That is one, two chunks, each of which is 7 and 7 eighths inches tall. And if we remember our distributive property, we need to dis distribute that uh, 2 into both parts of the mixed number. We're going to need to multiply the 2 times both parts, the 7, the whole number 7, and the fractional part, 7 eighths. So I'm going to say this is the same as 2 times 7. That's one part of the multiplication plus 2 times 7 eighths. Let's see if we can do that. 2 times 7 is 14, and plus 2 times 7 eighths plus 14 eighths. But that's an improper fraction. Let's see, I think we can pull one hole out of that, right? So let's see, remember, we keep our 14. We can pull one hole, that would be 8 eighths. And how many eighths would we have left then? 14 and we've used up 8 of them, so that would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think that would be 6 eighths, right? 14 minus 8 would be 6 eighths left. And then we can add those together now and say that's 15 and 6 eighths. And we now need to do our right part of our strategy because this, while it's an answer, is not what they asked for. They asked, what's the difference in height in their stack of books? Okay, I would say that Rick's stack is 15. 15 and 6 eighths inches higher than Trevor's. Awesome. And now we're done with our read, draw, and write strategy. Excellent. So this is a really good uh, example of how we read to our problem. We make a drawing that very carefully tells us exactly what we know. We look for the question, right, because the question could be any number of things. In this case, it's for the difference between Rick's height and Trevor's height and their stacks of books. And then we develop our math sentence And once we're sure what the question is, and we can work our math sentence out before we write our answer. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight. Problem number five. Brandon drove 72 and 7 tenths miles on Monday. He drove three times as far on Tuesday. How far did he drive in the two days? Well, again, I want to use our read, draw, and write strategy. and We've done the reading, so let's see if we can start a drawing. So Brandon drove, let's see, it's, it's one person's doing all this. It's always Brandon. Let's see, he's doing it on two different days. So Monday, I'm going to say, Monday he drove, and I'll go ahead and make a little drawing of this. He drove 72 
and 7 tenths miles. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like that. Sorry, my ten's a little sloppy. Uh, he drove three times as far on Tuesday. Okay, so on Tuesday, he drove the original amount, which is 72 and 7 tenths. But he drove three times as far, so I've got to draw a couple more of these, right? 72 and 7 tenths. And another one, right? 72 and 7 tenths. All right, let's see if that... Uh, that confirms what we know so far. Brandon drove, drove 72 and 7 tenths miles on Monday. Good. He drove three times as far. One, two, three as far on Tuesday. All right, got that. And then what's the question they're asking? How far did he drive in the two days? Oh, so this is one of those total questions. They want to know everything. They want to know everything on both days. How far did he drive in the two days? And that tells me that I'm going to need to multiply 72 and 7 tenths times 1, 2, 3, 4, because one of those distances he drove on Monday, and three times as many of them, three more of them, he drove on Tuesday. So he drove 1, 2, 3, 4 of those in all. So I know I'm going to need to go 4 times 72 and 7 tenths. Excellent. And now we've got to work our problem through. We've got to distribute our 4 and multiply it by both parts of our mixed numbers. So that's 44 times 72 plus 4 times 7 tenths. Now, 4 times 72, we might have to do off to the side here. Let's see. 72 times 4. 4 times 2 ones is 8. And 4 times 7 tenths is 28 tenths. Ah, okay, 288. So 288 plus, this one's a little easier, 4 times 7 is just 28 tenths. Now that's a mixed number, right? I'm sorry, that's an improper fraction, so we know we're going to need to simplify that into a mixed number. So we'll keep our 288 over here and say, let's see, how many tens can we pull out of 28 tens? Well, 10 tens would make 1, 20 tens would make 2, that's I think all we can pull. We can pull 2 holes out, that's 20 of the tens, and that leaves us with 8 more of our tenths. And now we can add those two together, that's 290 and 8 tenths. And we're now at the right part of our strategy. We have to say, Brandon drove 290 and 8 tenths miles in the two days. Right, and that is our answer, our fully written answer to the question that was asked up here. Awesome. Well, this is two of different types of problems that we've done tonight in our word problems. There are four other ones in your homework, and I hope you have good luck as you attack each one of those. Remember our read, draw, and write strategy, and then remember to, to distribute when we do our multiplication into both parts of our mixed number. Thanks. I'll see you again next time on Mr. Kong Has Problems.